With America Makes and YBI and adjacent buildings downtown, Youngstown has become a focal point for 3D printing. Now a new company has formed looking to take 3D printing to the next level, building houses. Ryan Kelly owns the Columbiana Bellaria, where along with business partner Bryant Youngblood, we met today to talk about their new company, Pantheon Innovative Builders, and their plan to build houses with 3D printers. We're looking at the challenges that are facing the construction industry, the supply chain issues, the skilled labor force issues. It gives people the idea and the opportunity to create something that's innovative and new. So what does it mean to print a house? This story from CBS News shows a 3D printer building a house in Long Island, New York. It's layers of concrete building from the ground up. Pantheon has its printer ordered and hopes to get started this year. The moment the printer is here, we're, we're printing with it. Pantheon is also partnered with Ohio State's Center for Design and Manufacturing Excellence to help with research and education. We knew that they could really be of some great assistance as we were trying to build this product and kind of grow this industry. Pantheon will build for anyone, but will initially focus on low-income housing in Youngstown. The vision and the mission of this started with an idea of I'm sorry, rejuvenating the city of Youngstown. That was the whole basis of this thing. And as we started digging and started figuring out ways to actually make this happen, that's when this innovative technology came into play. In Austin, Texas, a company used a 3D printer to build a two-bedroom, one-bathroom home. Ryan Kelly says the printer can build 55% of it for half of today's construction costs. Workers will need trained, codes may need changed, but Kelly's confident it'll work. We could allocate $300 trillion to affordable housing development and construction right now, but we can't build them. We can't build them any faster. And, and that's what we need to invest in the research and development of technologies like this to be able to do that. Kelly, Youngblood, and others have invested in the company, and they're looking for other investors and other ways to raise money, which is another reason Ohio State is being used.